what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A restaurant group in Baltimore, Maryland is getting dragged through the mud for their racist policies against black folks. You see, fam, a black woman showed up to Uzo Bay with her son and the manager told her that he couldn't let her in because her son was violating the dress code with his athletic gear on. He had some shorts and a t-shirt on. Well, the black woman immediately pointed out a white kid that was in the restaurant who was getting ready to leave with his uh, parents that had on athletic gear. And then there was another little white boy who had some athletic shorts on and a t-shirt, but he was allowed to stay. The manager could not come up with any plausible reason why the little black boy was being denied. The woman kept saying, well, you know, why can't, why does the white boy get to eat and my son don't? Why does he get to stay and my son don't? Well, you know, that's just the policy. It's the, you know, we, we, we have a dress code, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, you know, I would love for you to come back another day. All this type of stuff. So she, I guess, uh, asked for another manager. So another manager comes up and echoes the sentiments of this, the previous manager. They were essentially using racism disguised as a dress code to discriminate against the black boy. Family, you can't shake them. You can't shake them. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. This is what they do. They will create policies and rules strictly to only be enforced against black folks. A lot of the laws are like that. They have all kinds of laws on the book that they don't enforce unless they want to. You see, police officers have a lot of discretion and latitude as to what they can do, when they can write a ticket, when they can stop somebody, you know, when they can arrest someone, when they want to get physical, whether they want to use a stun gun or a machine gun, whether they want to choke you, pin you down, put their knee on your back, your neck, or your leg. They got way too much latitude. So, and that's what they do. They make up these rules so that they can use them to deny entry and access to certain groups. Same way with these nightclubs. When they're writing their rules, they're writing those rules so that they can be able to discriminate against black folks and other people that they don't want to allow into their space. I see it all the time. They'll have something, let's say you go to a club or something, it'll say no shorts, uh, no flip-flops, no baggy pants, no this, no that, no no breathing. <laughs> and what they'll do is they'll let the white guy in. You know, come on in, come on in. And then the black guy go up there and try to get in. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, man. No, no, no. You know, those, those pants are too baggy. And it is strictly at their discretion. I've seen them do it time and time again. I've been one of the black guys that they're allowed to come in because of my status. You know, I pretty much walk into any spot, you know, wearing whatever I want to wear. But that don't make it right for what they do. You know? You know, I've had to actually go and grab people that 
have met me. We kind of dressed alike. We kind of dressed alike, and they've allowed me in, but then my buddy can't get in. I had to go back and get him. Yo, man, if, if I ain't letting them in, I ain't, I'm not coming in. And there have been times where they said, well, hey, well I said, later, kick rocks, sucker. I got options. And this is what black folks need to understand. We got options. We should not want to go where we're unwanted. But people don't appreciate our money. We need to go take it somewhere else. I don't know what became of that situation. I don't know how it ended. Uh, well, I know that she left. The company issued an apology. They flat out said they were wrong. They fired the two managers and all of that stuff. But that's just to get the heat off of them. They already understand their policies. They know the type of managers they're, work, they're, they're hiring when they hire them. They know their employees. It's a culture. That employee mentality trickles down from top management. That's how it goes. So when you see an employee behave in a certain way, in most cases, they got it from the top. They got the okay from the top. Same thing in the police force. Same thing with when you go to these certain hospitals and nurses got bad attitudes. You know, it's it's the management at the top. They know that they got bad management. They know that they have bad employees. They know who, who who's the bad apples, but they allow them to continue to work there because they're bad apples themselves. If you wanna if you wanna find out the the reason that those managers thought it was okay to just just blatantly discriminate against that little boy. All you got to do is take a look at the management of that restaurant group. Take a look at upper management. And then if you want to take it further than that, take a look at their mom and their daddy. This is why I often say the mama should be embarrassed and the daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about?